to ask you questions. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Gordon. Thank you so much for making time for this interview. And um, the reason I've got you on is because there's a, a world out there of marketeers who think they have to spend hours and hours and thousands of pounds on websites when really they should be creating communities of engaged people. And you're a bit of an expert in that area, aren't you? Yeah, I'm uh, yeah, kind of. I, 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 I find it really funny when people sort of say that. I kind of, I suppose I've created this um, thing, if you like, over the last few years with um, building my own community on Facebook um, from from zero, from nothing, and um, built a multi six figure business um, just really from serving a community, helping people, uh, and, um, and and consistently being out there, you know, um, delivering to that community. And and I saw you recently because um, you're not just always on Facebook. You go on the stage as well, don't you? You did a fantastic inspirational talk at, um, at Expert Empires Underground, which uh, so you are a, you're also an inspirational speaker, aren't you? That's kind of grown up through what you've done. Well, thank you very much for saying the inspirational speaker. I think um, I, I'm very humbled that you said that. I mean, for, for me. Um, Speaking is something that, you know, I really um, I, I'm pursuing uh, on a much bigger scale. And, and you know, I, I really appreciate the feedbacks. Without doubt, you know, Facebook Live, where I've, you know, where I've really nurtured myself over the last few years and really sort of dominated my sector, I would say, through delivering content has allowed me to, A, allow me to find con uh, confidence, more confidence in myself, I think. Believe what I'm, you know, I think when you're talking, you start to believe what you're saying more and more. Even though you know you're telling the truth, you start to, you're educating yourself, which is why I love Facebook Live, because I think live video is, is really, really important for education, especially in the community, like really in depth. They can get to know, like you and trust you at a much deeper level. They can start to understand what the message is you're trying to convey. And you can serve people, you know, you can, you, you know, it's very real, it's very now. And I think that's really, really relevant. And it's really definitely, without doubt, it's helped me really refine what what service I want to offer people and, and help me, you know, communicate at a much better level, for sure. And what would you say to business owners who are perhaps, some might unkindly say, stuck in the dark ages where they, they literally will say, well, we've got to do the website and they can't do anything till they've, and they, and they spend fortune on it. And, and and I'm not saying websites are use they're very useful, but how much use was a website to you in building what you've created? Well, um, first of all, I I haven't got a I haven't, I haven't got a website, right? So I built a multi six figure business with no ad, no website and no ad spend, and that's because I have an insatiable desire to help people. And people go, how the hell would you do that? Very simple, like, and I said this at Expert Empires. I'm very passionate about this. You want to be a coach, coach people. You know, and, and this, this sounds really like, so people, co co coaches, consultants, I don't know, what, what is the, the group that you, you do here, Susie? Is it, uh, what is well, it, uh, well, I'm, what I'm keen to share um, uh, your story with is I help m inspire, or I try to inspire professionals who are mediators, collaborative lawyers. So they're not people who are naturally confident about marketing quite often. Right. And I'm encouraging them to get onto Facebook to share their, because they're peacemakers. They're people who help people stay out of court. And and I get very frustrated. I've created my own community, Best Way to Divorce, Facebook group. It's over 500 people. And it's been a real, um, and, and Nick James, who a mutual <laughs> coach, he, he's inspired me to do that. And it's been a fantastic fantastic journey and so I want more professionals who have something really important to share to stop messing about on websites and get out in front of people and communicate with them like, like, if, like and this I, I believe this though I think it comes down to how passionate you are about what you want to do so it's for how much you want to give so like like you know and I'll, I'll be quite raw and real as I normally are which is like you know most most people like they might get to coaching consultancy whatever that is for them, whatever business they're in, and they may not have a real true passion for it. I don't, it may not be for any of the views that might have a lot of passion for what they do. But if they've got a real passion, you have the greatest platform on the planet, like building a community on Facebook, because it is where most people sit, it's where most people are engaged, and you get to your own TV channel where you can broadcast and help as many people as you want for free and you can do that 24-7 a day, 24-7. And that is entirely up to you. If, you. if you've got a passion now, um, what I've learned by giving 
is that the more you give, the more you receive. Now, I don't give to receive, but I give. I give so much to my community and other people because I want to give. I want to help. And it's and building the business that I have and I continue to do is, you know, it, it's kind of like it, it just it just comes back. You, by the way, you can't. I can't stop it. I can't. <laughs> I don't. Oh, so he's round you up and then you just yeah, <laughs> there is no can you be more um give us just a couple of specifics so for people who, who are new they've never met you before you know they're thinking what does he share what does he give what's yeah. what's going on so well, give, give us a, all, yeah first of all what my my, my community is I'm a, i i run a, a martial arts business community where i help martial arts school learners become black bats in business and the reason i do that is because they're great at martial arts but they're not very good at business because they don't understand that. They've been taught it. And I was there. I lost my house 10 years ago, 11 years ago. And it was the worst time of my life. And it was, I felt so low and depressed and my self-worth was diminished. I was trying to build a martial arts school. Didn't know how to do it. I lost it. Lost my house. Failed miserably. Still have a martial arts school. Um, just about. But I lost my house. So, you know, I had to take up, up, you know, up my, my family into a rent accommodation. Felt really low about that. And um, I had to seek advice. Now, you know, I had to go on a big learning experience there for, you know, for a long time to then get, dig myself out the hole, really grow uh, my school again and actually, you know, get myself out of a lot of debt. And, I, you know, I came to a point in my life where my school's been doing brilliantly and, you know, it's really, really good. And I, I've always had an insatiable desire to help humankind, like, and I mean on a big scale. So um, I came up with this concept uh, after going to some trainings and stuff and, I just wanted to go in and help martial arts schoolies like me. I just wanted to do it for free. Didn't want to do it for any of them because I just love helping. So I just go in there and I'd offer advice. To like I'll be talking on Facebook Live to no one, but in a community. And then it sort of grew and grew and grew. And then people like started going, well, that, that makes sense. Then I would start polling them. So I start saying, what do you really need help with? I need help with this. So then what I do, I'd give them all the advice I have. And I wouldn't. What I don't, what I don't believe is, don't hold your best stuff back. That's my best advice. Give them your best stuff because most people say, "Oh yeah," but then you've got nothing good to share. I believe that's rubbish. You'll always have more to share because the more you give, the more you're building your credibility. The more people, and I think this is more relevant now in today's world because me, people want to be. You have to convince them. Like they're not just going to buy. They're convincing because they have access to social media anything else like it's it's hard to convince someone to buy from you now that more than ever so i believe this is where social media this is where facebook live becomes where you can connect with an audience and be there and talk to them they 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 will buy from you on a longer basis so i play the longer game with it give 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 and all of a sudden then they start there actually this guy's like good like actually what he's saying makes sense actually i'm going to try that actually what he says works actually like, what do you do with your, like, what else do you do? You know, like, and what's your coaching packages like? Well, if you can do it with that with free stuff, what can you do with, you know, and that's that's what I do. But finding out what they want, serving them, polling them, creating, you know, like giving stuff away. I give a lot of things away. Go in there and I say, well, I'm giving, you know, I'm going to give away a, a, a place on my coaching program for free. It's worth £600 plus about a month, six, six and a half K a year. And I'm going to do it for free, and, I, and I'm going to, I, I, and all I've got to do is enter this competition, you know, things like that. So I do lots of things to engage them, and I, and you know, I engage back with them. And you just building up your. The biggest thing that I could teach anyone here is find out what people are pained with, what are they struggling with, and serve them. And you, you literally can build an, a community like no other. My community is really engaged, like it is, and it kind of runs itself now. But I can drop in there, you know, I go in there every day. I'm every day I'm in my community. You know, you know Nick James, he always says, my life, I'm, like, I'm on there all the time. <laughs> I'm perceived that I'm on there all the time because I'm, my content is out there and I'm always thinking, how can I do that? Now, a tip for you all as well is your content is never dead. So even though you give the content, I turn my content into a book. and become a number one bestseller on Amazon. All the content that I'd ever written became a course. So all this content that I've done on Facebook Live, I transcribed it, and then I put it into a book. It became a number one bestseller. I took them, I transcribed it, and I put it into a course. That's how lots of courses. Yeah, and, and so your content, like, uh, but here's the thing, like, you're, you could, everyone could go do content, and they want to help people, etc. But if you do it through live video, you can leverage that. Now I do, I have a podcast. 
that's listened to in over 35 countries around the world. And I do the podcast while I'm doing the live video. So yeah. I'm doing a live video, I'm doing the podcast at the same time. And then I've got a podcast that's going out to a broader audience. Now I've got coaching clients in America. So do you think one of the big differences is that some people will think, well, we've got to sit here, come up with all this content, and then we can go into the group and deliver. But actually the content in a way came out of the group because it's in that interaction where you discover what people really want. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and most people will know like, the kind of demographic that they've got. They'll know, they kind of know what they want to, you know, the kind of people they want um, that, that they're, they're delivering to. But you can, and you'll have some content to give out to. And sometimes I'll go on there and I just want to talk about life. <laughs> You know, it's not all got to be about business because they've got to get to know you on a deeper level. They want to know the real person. You know, they want to hear your rants or they want to hear the pe the things that have pissed you off. You know, they want to they, they want to know the person. What do you struggle with? Like sometimes I'll talk, go in there and I say, we all feel the same. Like I'm going through this struggle at the moment. And they love that. And then you can teach them the content as well. So it's it's about yeah, your journey. And that's best. Best. You're massively inspiring me, and I'm thinking, oh, shit, I haven't done enough of all of that. And it sounds such good fun. It's like, I can't wait. I can't wait. But the big one of the big things that people often get confused with is you've got your public Facebook page, but then you've got your Facebook groups. In a sense, in order to benefit from all, all that you give, they need to join your group, don't they? They need to make that commitment, even though yeah. that's... That's the way you build the community. You build the togetherness. That's why it's called a community. Uh, and, and you can use your page and you can do something real simple on your Facebook page. You can create, you know, a inspiring bit of content and say, if you want more of this, go to my group. Pay, pay, pay down, click the link below. You know, if you give, again, it's all about giving. Like, yeah. so you heard my story, you know, heard my speech at Expert Empires. I'm a big believer in giving, like giving and giving everything you got and give, give, give. And, you know, I really believe that. And that's what I try and do every day. I'm not special. I just try and. I try and find out what people want and give them. And that's called serving. And many people say they want to serve, but they don't serve on a deep enough level where they absolutely want to give to receive nothing. And that's and the I, bit where people... the more, Yeah, sorry. And for, for the more uh, cynical who might be listening, they think, well, okay, he's got this group. They come into the group and they, they're getting everything's for free. How does that turn into a six-figure business in how much time? Give us, give us a few... A few numbers impress impress them okay so how's it turned to a six-figure business well, it's a multi-six-figure business um it's you know it's doing well over 200k a year um it, it has you know I, i've leveraged that through my courses so from the content built my courses from the courses built my mentorship program from the mentorship program built my mastermind programs you know and and, and i maxed out on my master uh, my, my coaching cards can't take any more oversubscribed and the reason that was is guess what I did? I, you know, I went into my group. So how did I start? I gave loads of free consultations. I blew their heads off. I found out what their real desires were in life, showed them how to serve it, and they come off the call and went, Oh my God, like how can I work with you again? Because I gave them everything. I didn't go, it wasn't a um, me going to find out about them a little bit and then say, Well, I've got this coaching program and I can it's this. I just give them everything I got for no reason because I just wanted to help them. And in the end, I just say to them, okay, like, I don't want anything for it. All I'd ask is, uh, how could you possibly just, just do as a, like a, a review on, a, on the, in the group and tell us the experience? They have no problem. I didn't want anything from them. And they were just firing the group. And then other people go, well, if you could do it, well, like, that sounds amazing. And, uh, and I'll go, who else would like a 30 minute call? And away it goes. And that's where you give him first. And from there, I built up, then I launched my coaching program and away it goes from there. So that's how, I, and it's a, and here's the thing. I truly believe people try to monetize their group too early. I truly believe people try to coach and make money too early. You've got to build your credibility first. You've got to build the, the trust, and you've got to build it by giving. And the more you give, the more you give. If you want to get, you can give once a week. But if you give every hour, you're going to get there a lot quicker because you're going to, you're going to build it up. So it just depends on how much you're willing to give. Um, I'm, a, I'm going to Florida tomorrow um, for two weeks, and – but I'm very conscious when I'm over there to make sure I'm still serving my community. So certain things I'm going to be doing while I'm there. There's certain posts I've scheduled to go out. Uh, but I will be going live from there. I will be doing things there at certain times to be able to serve them. And I'm launching my course for January as well <laughs> while I'm over there. So, so yeah. But, uh, but I, and I think when you started your group, first started the group, how long did it take you before you started to, to monetize? About six months. 
Because okay. it's not long. No, it's not, not long. at all. No, but, but, but during that time, this is where it's a bit like, I'd earned the right to monetize. Yes. And that's the big thing, yes. earn the right. And you've got to think of it like a, like a cash, like a bank. Like you've got to go and give money in first before you can take it out. Mm. You yeah. can't take it's it out. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so yeah. you've got to give, and, and that's how you've got to act when you're running communities and stuff. You must give, 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 give. Um, and, and that builds your authority more than anything and allows you then to take it. It allows you to offer your courses out and people say, yeah, I'm interested in that. And, you know, because it, it's content's that good or their content is that good. Now I want to do the course as well because I'm sure it's even better than the content I'm getting here. And that's how you build it. And, you know, I think is be creative and, and from the polling and, and just help it. The more you help, people will flock to you if you help. If you're giving, people flock. They just, you know, they, they can say, and it's got to be genuine. They can't be, you've got to give to give, not give to receive. And that's really important. So and how, it, you're sorry. I, I, gonna... believe, I believe it would really, it w works if you have that in your heart. If you really mm. want to give, not if it's a fake giving, because people can feel it. And to ra round off, because a lot of what you're saying is so refreshing compared to branding we have to look at what the impression and a lot of and get these beautiful graphics and all these things are really important because a lot of it's about understanding your clients but there's still that distance what i love about what you do is you're like get out of the way <laughs> where are my people i have yeah. something to share and That's uh and and i think that is the world we live in now and yes you could work with a branding company and come up with some amazing graphics to go with your courses as it evolves but ultimately that's not what people are buying into. They're buying into you and what, what you, they get from you. I haven't even got a business card. I've got nothing. I don't care. It doesn't matter. Like, you know, people say to me, where's your business card? I'm on Facebook. Here's my business card. Like, go tag me. Like, follow me here. or do this. Well, you know, uh, people are worried about, and I'm a creative person as well, and I like nice things. But I, I realise, like, you know, if I want to be a great coach and I want to be a great mentor, I want to be an inspirer, I want to help people. I've got to go and do that. And I, and I and I did two or three free things every day, every day. And I go out there and I say, how can I 10X that? How can I go and give more? How can I learn my craft? How can I give? How can I learn how to be the best I can be? How can I learn to serve? And, 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 and that's, that, that piece is all over branding. I am the brand here. I'm raw and real. <laughs> it's just, you know, I give a shit. <laughs> and, you're, and you're so right because when the more that you – do free because I find most of the people I talk to it's Facebook Messenger and you know if someone's in a situation yes I'll direct them to a free conversation or whatever but quite often you just think right this is what you need to know right now and part of my brain's going oh no perhaps I shouldn't be doing this and I'm not I'm just using up my time and I'm not making any money but my god you learn a lot whilst doing that because it's every time you're helping someone you're as you say you're you're build perfecting your craft as well as building that trust and becoming just bloody useful really and uh, uh, it's so refreshing to hear you hear you talk how many times how many how many times a day do you help people every time i turn facebook on because it's there all the time but it's more it's more it and, and, and but i'd like to do more and uh and and what's really helped me with this conversation is um not worrying about getting things in place first that I will then deliver. It's like, nah, I, every day there's something happening that I could happily talk about. And just to relax, be myself, share, um, and, and not try to structure it in and think ahead, oh, this will be a course. You don't know. It just, the creative process just has to flow. I can do that bit later. So, no, this has been re a really good timing for me, I have to say. Think, and hopefully so for some other people watching this too, because I'm not, I'm not just going to share it with people who are um, lawyers and, and mediators. I've got um, quite a few uh, business contacts who might find this very interesting. I think it's like, I think, um, I think you're, you're right. Like, I think if you are, who you are, this is who I am, this is the journey, this is my thoughts for today. And when something pops into your head, go and put, I don't prep for any of my live videos, none of them. I don't prep for any of my podcasts, I just do them, just there, well, yeah, this one. And it flows, the creative process flows, and I'm just there. I, I, I didn't even know, I have no idea what I was going to talk about today, I didn't even know, I, didn't, I don't even look, I don't, like my wife like, is my PA, she like, puts it in the diet, I didn't even know what we're talking about. Because I trust, like, like because I, I can, you know, I'm just going to let it go where it goes and help, you know, see where I can help. That's what I'm here. And just to round off, because I know you've got a, yeah, you've got a 
fly, go a big long flight tomorrow and to go spend some time with your family. Um, so uh, just to round off, how how can people help uh, help you or help? And um, um, I mean, for example, do you want to do more inspirational talks? Do you only help people who are um, doing mar running martial arts? So it, how is your what you offer evolving? Um, number one, the best way you can help me is to help others because it's my my biggest passion is to, to to send a ripple effect out across the world and I don't I know that sounds right some people might think that's cheesy you know I, for me if I if, if everyone can help everyone else what a world we live in number one so that's the best way you can help me number two is um I am a you know I, I'm sort of branching out I, I, I coach mentor other business owners have done for a while I just don't broadcast that um but I you know I want to I want to I'm a, I'm a real person and I want to show people how, you know, there is a genius with inside them. And I, and I come from a very negative background and I've learned to become the person I, I am and actually find the person that I love who I am because I didn't love myself very much and I didn't like myself. So I want to help them people who don't, don't believe in themselves. They don't realize the true potential that lies within. So if I can do that by speaking on stage, helping them at uh, events that they run, if I can speak to them, help them in any way. Um, if you've got any any events that you're running and you want to speak and it's going to kick people's asses in and wake them up on the first day, for example, because, you know, I, you know I, I, when I say kick people's asses, I do it with love. Like, I want people to realise what a fucking phenomenal time it is to be alive and what a, a magnificent life we have to live. And most people get lost in life. They get lost, they... You know, they're, they're so busy trying to get to a destination before they're happy. I believe that we should be happy with what we have right now. And and I try and wake people up to what they already have and realise the true potential that lies within. And once you understand that, you can the world's yours, baby. <laughs> I really believe that. And finally, how can people find you on Facebook? What do they, are they putting got your name into? Or yeah, really put it up, it I mean, I've got a couple of profiles. I'm the one who's a bit quirky like that um, on the <laughs> Facebook profile. You can follow me on my Facebook page called Birchum. Um, we've, um, I haven't got a website. Sorry about that. Um, the no just... website, no business card, just uh, no. Facebook. LinkedIn, page on... and your group, your community. Yeah, yeah LinkedIn, I'm, I'm on there, um, but Facebook's where I'm at. If you want to connect with me, um, you will, I, I, I can't accept any more friends, so you will have to message me on my page. I'll get back to you. We'll connect somehow. And um, I hope to connect with you guys um, anytime soon and uh, just reach out and I'll, I'm happy to help. And just the very last question, what would you say to professional people who raise their eyebrows when uh, I suggest that being on Messenger, if nothing else, being, being on Facebook so that people can messenger you is a good idea for your business. Bearing in mind that practically everybody, even when people refer to me, they find they then go and find me on Facebook and message me. Do you find yeah. that everything, all that initial communication often comes through Messenger? Yeah, with that, you know, it's where people sit. And if you want to build your business or you want to build anything, you've got to go where the fish are. Yeah. And then you've got to go fishing and that's where they are. So you've got to be where they are. Go where the crowd is. You know, if you um, if you're stuck back, you know, in the day in the old school. Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. Guess where you'll be stuck back there and you're not get, you're going to lose out because this this world is moving faster than it's ever moved and it's going to get in quicker. Fiber optics, everything that's going so quickly now, everything is like this. Everyone's speed. And, and, and social communication, social media, you know, you got to look at social media like this as well. Like yesterday is old news. On social media, it's old news. They want to know what happened 10 seconds ago, 10 minutes ago. That's what's interesting. So if you think yeah. about that, if you're, you're going to get left behind because all the people that are embracing this, and I, and, and I really believe this, like it actually doesn't matter how good you are these days. You've just got to be out there. You've got to be seen. Because people, of course, people, they, Sorry, my God. They, they, all right people know what they like because they like what they already know make sure that you'll know and that's really really important and social media is the platform to get your brand your company your services and your passion out to the world brilliant thought a great way to finish thank you so much and give you back to your family now and have a wonderful wonderful time in florida but i'm on time so to be take care bye 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 bye, -bye. i'm gonna take us off. Thanks for watching.